A dramatic step to fight the growing problem of illegal pot in Sacramento tonight. The city council considering a robust plan to crack down on illegal marijuana home grow operations. The problem has snowballed over the last couple of years. New tonight, CBS 13's Drew Bolea is live outside City Hall with much more on this plan. Drew. Oh, that council meeting just wrapped up not too long ago, and they were saying that the top priority that the council should be focused on is eradicating these home grows when it comes to cannabis cultivation that's illegal. And they're saying so as more and more neighborhoods are coming in contact with these illegal operations. They are truly a public nuisance. 11 fires in the last year and a half are due to illegal marijuana home grows. They're tapping into the electrical systems, they tap into the ventilation systems, there's chemicals that aren't usually found in a home. Homes are transformed, creating a hazard for first responders and people in the neighborhood. It's becoming to be uh, a full-time job for a couple of firefighters. According to a Sacramento City report, there are nearly 1,000 illegal home grows operating right now. We are going to be um, taking steps to aggressively uh, root out these uh, illegal cultivators from our neighborhoods. Joe Devlin, the city's cannabis chief, says Sacramento is a prime location for criminal operations. An affordable power grid, relatively cheap land costs, and proximity to major interstates makes the city an attractive spot to set up an illegal shop. It's an issue that has those in the cannabis industry fuming. They want to be good neighbors, um, and they recognize that these illegal cultivators are a problem. The solution, at least in the short term, is to use a show of force to push out the illegal grows by calling in the SWAT team. And a very loud and clear message to those folks that are operating illegally that, that we're not going to take it in Sacramento. The SWAT teams would only be for a few months while the city works to fill more than a dozen police and staff positions to combat the illegal grows on a permanent basis. The use of our SWAT team should tell the residents in Sacramento um, as well as these illegal cultivators that they're not welcome. Not everybody on the council was satisfied with this presentation. Councilmember Ashby and Councilmember Warren said that they wanted to see more detail about just exactly how the police department plans to enforce some of these new regulations, crack down on these illegal grows, and get these folks out of the community. They also wanted to see a timeline of when this enforcement would take place. They also asked for another report back to the council in a few months. Still a lot to develop here. All right, Drew, thanks so much for that live report from City Hall for us tonight. Now, Drew's story had us wondering how many other cities across California are prepared for Prop 64 to take effect next year. Well, according to the Sacramento Bee, only Sacramento and Davis have started working on local regulations. Others have voted on bans, but very few of the state's 58 counties and some 482 cities are working on ordinances to implement Prop 64. The League of California Cities says that could be a big problem because under the initiative, the state could receive a request for a license to open a store in a particular area and approve it within 60 days if no ordinance is on the books.